39, 40, 41. Thank God for that. Mama hasn't touched them. <laughs> Folks, how are we? This is our pak choy or bok choy. You know, we were talking about planting out here real fast. I left the weeds underneath. I just rotary hoed it. Well, I've decided that in the next season, we're going to do this as an OD garden. We'll be part of our TV series as well of building raised garden beds on top of the existing ones. So for now, we're going to start on this level and then we're going to keep adding to it, put a couple of uh, sleepers around the edges and box it all up so we can have a raised bed. But I'm preparing another one there as well. I've just rotary hoed this section here. This has been composted pretty hard. Sorry, compacted, not composted. There's no compost here. Actually, there may be a little bit from the horse, but it's been compacted because you can see this is the, the horse path, the trail where he walks up and down just checking over the fence line. But I'm going to put a garden bed here as well. So I'm going to end up having two garden beds and fox proof this uh, chook pen because they'll be able to dig underneath. So we're going to drop a slab around the perimeter, the outside of it. Garden beds, raised garden beds all the way around. So if you can imagine, hopefully by the end of the series, if we get it done right, we'll have raised garden beds all the way around the chooks, a fence line around it so that I, well, they can escape if they want to. It won't be a high fence, a little picket fence, but I want to let them out so they can sort of walk around this area as well by having a raised garden bed. Maybe that'll slow them down from destroying the plants and digging it out, but at least they'll get all the grubs out because you get lawn grub everywhere. And I'm sure many of you have experienced lawn grub in your veggie garden. And some of you have actually emailed saying you found it in your pot plants, your citrus pot plants. A citrus tree going backwards, taking it out of the pot and finding about 20 lawn grubs in the one pot. And that can do a lot of damage. So there isn't a natural chemical and I shouldn't use the word chemical, or natural product, let's say, that can control that. Uh, eco neem is one that I would recommend that you water in, but the best way is by physically removing as many as you can. Now, if it's in the garden bed, your best option are the chooks. If you have a bad season and you find lawn grub, after the season's done, let the chooks out. If you haven't got any chooks, get some chooks. And look at that. I dropped a bale of straw in the middle there. I literally just cut the string off it to loosen it up, and they've spread it for me. Now I'm going to drop in another two or three bales around the other areas and the girls are just going to keep spreading it. That's how they compost for you. They clean out all the, all the bugs, they fertilise it, they compost it, then we're going to take it out, stick it in here actually, not over there, in here. It's nice and close. All right, let's get to it. Soil in here and we're going to plant some celery in this area here and then we're going to liquid feed it. Mama's around somewhere. I have no idea where she is today. She's gone for a walk about, eh, Cara? You didn't eat her, did you? Lazy boys, quick. Now you turn up. Come on. Have a look at you, you're just last minute woman. I love your style, mum. <laughs> you want to help me? Huh? You want to help me? Yes, I can help you, come on. Get on the right on. Come on, no, get no, on. No, I, I, you're I, going to drive. <laughs> Who's going to tip this? You oh, want to tip it? You oh, want to no. do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. No, it's too hot for me. <laughs> come here. You hold the shovel. OK, no worries. Teach you how the local councils what, work. What you, can I do? No, you sit. No, 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 you just, you just sit there like this. Oh, yeah, they can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One working in Tennessee to look watching. Let's see. You want to? Tea or air? Careful, I don't bury you before your time. Huh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> wait, wait, I'm going to move forward. Okay. What's the matter? You come on. I need him to get on. Come on. Go! 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 I haven't got any money. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> You give me the mulch, I spread it. Now we stay on this side because the wind blows that way. Okay. All right, and then we start from down there. Oh, and come this way. And come this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. I got oh, that from you... Dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ella. Here you go. Well, this is, is really stringy, this one. I'll do another job. 
ju not just cooking. Look at that. Look at the garden too. I do everything. Don't uh, worry. Every time we turn the cameras off, she does all the work. And I just claim all the glory, don't yeah, I? Yeah, patata. Yeah. I do. <laughs> You're lazy. You have to finish the lunch time when it's coming. Twelve, one o'clock. Uh, you need another one or you think you stop? Not enough? The way you spread it, we're going to need another three. Another three? No, one, one should be enough for this whole area. Oh, OK. Actually, okay. no. Just go next to the lemon tree over there. There's a small pile over there. Get the wheelbarrow, fill it up. Yeah, we Next should. to the lemon tree, there's some there. Yeah. OK. Yeah. No problem. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm not going to put the subtitles for that. <laughs> Just spread the mulch over, and it's really high winds over here. You'll see the pak choy, bok choy behind us there. Got beaten to death by the high winds, but it's settled in. Uh, birds attacked them. Half the seedlings got pulled out. I had to replant them. They left them alone since. How so many put... meters that? How many what? Meters. Meters here? Yeah. I don't know. 15, 20 meters. 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 meters. meters. Minutes or meters? <laughs> what are you talking meters. about? You're going to drive me mad. <laughs> Sorry. Meters? Yeah, Distance? Yeah. yeah. 20. Oh, look, 15 to 20 meters, yeah. Okay. We're putting two rows. Uh, celery. Celery, okay. About one foot apart, like this, Mum. Yeah. This far apart. Yeah? Is that, too, can, can, is that too close? No, no, it's all right. Yeah, it's going to be bush. You see the other ones in there, like... Oh, yeah, like... Uh, yeah. Oh They're God. going to be overplanted, but that's OK. We pick them as we need. The girls are going you to make juice. You have to put potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Uh, there's potatoes in there. Um, you the want more side. potatoes? Well, you know what? Have we got any room over there, you reckon? <laughs> room? <laughs> it's a bit coarse here still, but... Alright, you see it? Yeah, pull it. You want to take it out? See? Oh, Look at that. Yeah. Oh, the roots. It's like beautiful. you've never seen these before. No, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> but they're not like this beautiful, yeah, like these are nice and healthy. Yeah. That's all about uh, individual plugs. It's the best way to get your seedlings. So you can find them in your local garden centers. They sell them as single plugs like that. Well, not single plugs, but the actual seedling tray has individual cells. And the idea of that is that you don't have them all tangled up and you can separate them under water if they're all tangled up. But ideally, this is the way you want your seedlings so they don't go backwards. Don't be scared. Yeah, pull it hard. Yeah, I thought that's it. Gonna come. Beautiful. Now you can push from underneath, now. but the hole's very small. Now, oh, oh, all right. Now, listen, yeah, okay. this land now. Yep. After land. <laughs> yeah. uh, you I already forgot. know. You haven't forgotten anything. All right, you just put them about a metre apart. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just drop them everywhere like, like this. That. OK. Yeah. I'm yeah. putting them a bit closer. OK, better. Uh, 200 seedlings, okay. 20 metres. Eh? You drop it there. Three to four okay. per metre. 40, 80. There's 200 there. I'm not going to even get half of them in. No. I'm going to have to do another row somewhere. Now you're getting too close. And you know celery juice is so good for you? Of course. You make a juice out of it every day. Helps the gut bio. Go to toilet. Make a uh, soup and salad oh, in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she has no mercy. You know, I said about 80 to 100 plants. She's already halfway through the tray. <laughs> She's going to put 130, 150. I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to plant and harvest and eat and enjoy. And that's exactly what you should be doing too. The chicken? Hey! Hey! What? What's the matter? Oh, no, no, no. Talking bear is beautiful. Nice, nice. You come in, you come in after surprise to you. Nice. Macaronia or supa. Pilafi. Hey, you put that down. Don't you touch her. <laughs> Cara, 
Maker. No. No, no, no. Nice, 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 nice soup. Nice soup. Macaronia. I'll give you soup in a minute. Nice That's potatoes. It. She's running off with my chook. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Woo! It's so good. Where are you? Yeah. Oh! Take your lesson. You drop that chook, you know what's going to happen. Carol's going to eat it. Put it there. Yeah? <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? I'm going to eat it. And the other, the other girls are sitting there watching. Okay, okay. Here are you, friend. Go. <laughs> okay, next time. Because no Vasilis look at me. Next time, these beautiful chooks. Look how many you have. Who doesn't know how many? I'm going to miss one. You want to feed it there? Yes, I have okay. to. Here we go. Oh, I'll be back. So we're going to put some of this one. What do you call this one, Mum? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Black Black Butch. <laughs> <laughs> What's the line there? Eh? Well, right, well, we might have to rebrand it. Black Butch. EK Boost. <laughs> ah, EK Boost. Echo. Echo. Echo Boost. Yeah, like a lot of people see. No, say it. Echo Boost. Echo Boost. And this one? Of course, the other one's different. Yeah. Liquid gold. Oh, liquid gold. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. So this one's our seaweed solution. Okay. This is really good. This is certified organic. Or, or you make it's safe. safe. What do you mean you make? Okay. This one make a, makes them strong and resistant to the cold weather. Okay. Oh, okay. It makes good fruit. Okay. This one makes them really strong and the, green, the roots. bigger leaves and bigger roots. Oh, beautiful. But this one feeds all the bacteria, all the, the microbia Catalava. in the soil. Okay. You want to put some water in it? Yes, of course. Okay. Where the is water? it? Do you use the EcoBoost? Of course. And on my, all my plants, the yeah. trees all come green, beautiful. Mm. I love it. I put them in an English book, uh, box too. Yeah. Now the English box, the cold water is coming yellow. Feed them this, then in two weeks you see they're different. It's beautiful. Well, I might have to get you to do my one too. You want okay. to do it? All right, you go and water it. The leaves in the top, everything, it comes with the roots too. Make a strong leaves and green. Every two weeks, water for this stuff, and you see the different. Don't worry for nothing after. Okay. There you go. Ducks here. Eco boost and liquid gold your plants, folks, and you're guaranteed to have a healthy start. Doesn't matter what sort of weather you have there, even the birds won't like it. And apparently the bad insects don't like it either, folks. And that's what you want. Healthy plants, strong microbial activity in the soil, and the grandma like mine there. Oh, mama like mine. <laughs> One more, and I finish. Yeah. Because with this lady here, we're going to get all the gardens done and we're going to go and eat after. What are we eating? Uh, the chooks are going to kill the chooks. <laughs> <laughs> For more great products like EcoBoost and Liquid Gold, folks, go to Vasiliesgarden.com. From Eva Silly, Maresi. Maresi too. Yep, all right. Go Maresi too.